Hello everyone, this is Spartan SSD here. Today we'll be looking at a uh, cartoon. So, this is the new. This is actually one of the uh, new. Uh, what does it call? Barbarian cells introduced aside from you. You all. Yeah. So, there are two barbarians. One is the. Uh, I believe Liu Bao is the Xiongnu, while Ta Dun is the Wu Huan. So, we'll go further into the game. We'll go into the game first and then we'll see uh, what are the dilemmas that Ta Dun will face, as well as start both the action mechanics and the new unique units which are provided, and etc. So, let us get into the game. We are now in game. Let me clear off some of this unimportant stuff. Right. Right, right, right. So first we'll look at the starting position. You start off in Liu Beijing, Wang Yang and Liao Xi. So these three commanders will each own a uh, territory. So for Liu Beiping, you actually got uh, the city itself, which is Tuying, or uh, I think this is modern day Beijing, and this is Jingyi, the Iron Mine, as well as Liao Xi's uh, Tomb Maker. So. Okay, I believe there is, yeah, as a barbarian himself, he actually has the reforms of the bandits, same like Liu Bao. Both of them have will continue to use uh, the bandit uh, skill uh, tech tree, just like Tang Yan and Zheng Xiang in this campaign. They will also be using uh, the site. Uh, buildings for bandits, so nothing, nothing much change actually. It's just the same thing for that. And building wise, yeah, building wise they also going with the basic bandit buildings, so nothing change for them. Maybe in the future we might see new uh, additions for uh, Haku. As for faction mechanic, Tatun has the chaos mechanic. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, six stages. The first stage is faded embers, and the second is ignited flames. The third is blazing red. Fourth is burning rage. Fifth is torch wheel, and lastly is explosive fire. Now. You strip go to the uh, I'll, I'll put that explain about the mechanic. So you have a minus two hundred decay button in uh, torch wheel, and if I not mistaken, uh, no, you have a rating stance. I believe that gives you anything new, but it's alright. So how do I actually get this? I'm not sure, but um, maybe you can get it from battles. Especially if you win each battle, you get a certain amount of chaos. Or maybe if you manage to uh, raise or sack or something, I'm not sure. Uh, overall, is okay. I haven't actually played part one. Maybe I might try to play one. Uh, I might just run here. And I'll. I'll try to get some uh, chaos on the chaos from Wuhan if we ever destroy this area. And notable characters, we start off with two person, which is Tatun himself and Wu Yan. So they have a unique skill tree, which is different from the rest of the Han faction. 
And apart from that, diplomacy wise, so as part of you start off allied to Yun Shang, but as you can see, Cao Cao is going to take over Gao Liu, so it is actually not, I would say it is not uh, beneficial for you to be in a long term alliance with Yuan Shang unless the AI Yuan is a little bit aggressive and started to get Cao Cao out of the fight when we followed up by constant uh, invasion to unite all of the north but overall I believe you yourself can do it your all by yourself and for trade wise you can trade with either Kung Sun Khan or Yuan Shang but I would suggest I would suggest you trade with Yuan Shang Jin. He's a much better. Uh, he's your ally, and you already know that he will be a buffer for you. And let me just click the skill tree so that I won't miss any of the important skills, or maybe like let's say there's emergency, I won't like have to restart and stuff. Uh, it's fine. Now, what should you do as Tatum? You know that you can't fight here. With this side, you can't fight here. And you can invade Cao Cao. But you have to understand, you don't have a non aggression type with uh, Gong Sun Kang. So, a war with Gong Sun Kang is always a possibility. So you have to be worried about be worried about having your back exposed. And what what is next? Uh, I believe I've explained about oh yeah. So if you are actually worried about Monsu Kang, don't go to Bohai. Straight go to Yaotong, invade through Yu Beijing and DLC, just eradicate uh, Gong Sun Kang so that you have a safe backyard, and from there you can re invade the north. I did that with Gong Sun Kang, right from uh, DLC I invaded Tartin, and for once I finished Guangyang and Pai, I invaded Cao Cao, so you can do the same step as you wish. Now, I think I can talk about a few of the unique units that was introduced. And if you notice, there are actually new unit, units that are added. So, for those of you who can't use the Chibi Chibi units, you can't actually uh, see the I don't think so the Tsuki units have uh, unique units for Wu Huan, but they definitely have unique units for Gong Sun Kang. So I'll talk about a few of the unique units. First of all is the uh, Wu Huan Raiders. So this is the Light Sword Cavalry for the Wu Huan tribe. And you start off with a diamond shape, diamond and wedge formation for them as well as a sharp sharpened axis which is an active buff for the Wuhan Raiders they, are also, they also have a passive buff of Northern Courage they have the Raider Trade Mighty Knockback Charge Negotiation Attrition Immunity so this is actually a good light sword cap early game and we also have our Wuhan of Archers which gives you the from a far distance and Northern Courage as well they are, they are also Raiders and Resistance Stick Resistance to Fatigue so this is actually they also have a poison weapon so you have to be worried about them just in case that your troops if you ever fight them you might get poisoned yeah, this is an all-rounder this is a skirmisher mobility and Wu Huan Lancers. This is actually a new type of cap 
created by the model himself. The issue is they are not calf they are not calf actually, they are actually foot soldiers. So if you look at the path that was given, where are our horses? They are actually melee units, steer melee units. So if you were to click this, they will run in a speed which is actually quite fast that the entire model will go out of formation. Yeah. And they also have the Raider Trace, the Mantis Care, and Gorilla Department. This is actually quite a good unit, I would say. I actually saw the preview for when the model introduced this unit. Mm, apart from that, I think we'll go to the next turn and actually have a look at what other unique units they was introduced. Because I believe uh, we one don't have just these three units. Alright. <laughs> why? Why so so why? Yeah, this is what you you are supposed to expect when you play against Tao Tao. <laughs> oh no, this is just turn two man. Why though? Why? But it's fine, we are just here for the session video, so Anyways, before we do that, we will have to do our casual uh, upgrade your character to the highest level, to whatever level that you can first. So here we go 10, increase by 10. And this we will change to top. So now he's level 17, you'll be able to see all the unique units that are able to be recruited. So of course you still have your bandit units. And this is uh, for Wu Huan only, which is the Wu Huan Spear Bow Guard. They are actually good at flanking, they have they have a range weapon. You can see him as a Chen Royal Guard, but not a better version of the Chen Wei Guard, but you can spam them a lot during the early game if you reach a certain level. I believe this is unlocked in level 3 or level 1. I'm not sure. Uh, we have Bandit Hunt. Next up, we have our Wu Huan Female Archers, which is an arrow unit. They have a my trick so this is actually quite a good uh, arrow unit for for Wu Huan uh, as a Raider, Bandit, Raiders yes, this CMP Raiders CM, CMP Raiders, they are actually uh, limited recruitment for Wu Huan faction as a whole and yeah, they have a Raider Northern College next up, Wu Huan Lancer Cat and this is a medium helper cavalry. Uh, Wu Huan Lancers is the same, Bandit Marauders and Wu Huan Saber Guard. These are anti missile defense for the first years. And what else? What else are there? Let me try and summon someone and we'll actually have a look at what other unique units that we might have missed out. So if I were to summon, uh, let's say, I want, uh, alright, here we put Tartu. I don't know, we'll just, uh, uh, we'll get ourselves a move we get. Um, assume that we are trying to get one unit. No, I think one is. We'll, we'll just get a uh, sound or the shoot or ah we we'll just get ourselves pumped when maybe he might show us anything about the uh strategies. Pumped. 
and apart from the yeah, we're just recruiting here. And we'll make him high level. So Now that he is uh, more than level 21. So, ah, uh, yes, nice. So, for female, alright. Mountain Archers, these are uh, limited recruitment. And we also have our CM Bay Horse Archers, which are also limited in terms of recruitment. And lastly, we have our Wu Huan Horse Archers. Yeah, these are also limited in terms of recruitment. Mm, apart from that, we'll also have a look at. Uh, yeah, we we'll actually have Let's get uh, eight princes, eight prince character here, and we'll go with Sima here, as he is a sentinel. So we'll be able to have a look at what he actually has. Oh, I don't have enough cash, but it's alright. For the sake of preview, I'm willing to. Spend more, put cheat more for Bidu only. So, Sima Yip. So, yeah, he has a Wu Huan Defender for him to recruit, as well as a new CM Packet Hunter. This is actually a cap unit. It is not, it is not actually, it is not a food unit, it is, it is a cap unit. So they actually ride horses and stuff. Mm, we'll go for another one more, which is champion. So if we were to go champion with a Mark Sumayam, we'll get Sumayi's card uh, again. And we will use him as a change. And yeah, we ha we still have a team infantry from the tech tree, but overall there's no new units that he could recruit. Uh, so we have cover one, two, three, and we have from the Wu Xin we have one, two, three, four. Okay, we will get one more, which is uh, Yuan Shao himself, so that we can actually. See what does the so now we are going to see what does we are not able to recruit under the cartoon if he were to be over new characters available. Wow. Oh, the hour of recruitment. Uh, it's fine. Uh, we'll go to next turn and we'll actually have a look at the. Alright. So we'll have a look at the shop. And here we will meet you and Sao even rank up you and Sao to next rank. So if we look at the Shao, let's see who we can recruit. Alright, Xian Bei Hawk, Sword Guard Cavalry, and Wu Huan like Raiders. So only two? Mm. Only two, yeah, these two. So these are all the Wu Huan units that are added for the mod. And 
I believe that sums up our oh. Yeah, some actually lost the war. Alright. Uh, uh, this is uh, actually quite painful. I want to see if let's say is this uh, easy to actually get the Let's see how many kills can Hmm, 205. Hmm, not bad, not bad. And yeah, as you can see here, if you occupy, you only get 85 kills. Loot and occupy is 100 kills. 125 kills for second withdrawal, but raising is 350 kills. You want more chaos so that you can get much better buff, so... We will just raise it since why not? Who are not supposed to raise that? But don't do that if you are if you are actually facing like you know very big trees. And yeah, I think that sums up our faction preview for Wu Huan, which is cartoon. Uh, maybe oh, I think there is a new faction called Shi He. I think. She heard something for the yellow tokens, which I didn't cover yet. So it might be next. And lastly, I would I would actually go and have a good look at uh, Huang Tzu. He also has the unique mechanics and stuff. So we'll have a look in next time. Uh, now we're at Torch View. So it is, it is best for you to raise when you need and not raise when you don't need. So overall, uh, that is all for today and I'll see you in the next one then. Bye!